Greetings, people of the internet. I am Arcane3000, coming at you with another review, and this time, it is the G.I. Joe Classified Series Storm Shadow figure. Back when I was a kid, I was a bit of a G.I. Joe fan, and though I'm not as big of a fan now as I used to be, but but I still have a bit of a soft spot for G.I. Joe series to, to collect the more modern action figures, and Storm Shadow is no exception because when I was a kid, I had the, um, uh, two-pack of Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow that came with the my Spy Troops movie, so yeah. And here's Storm Shadow in the packaging. Uh, he's nicely displayed and shows a good picture of Storm Shadow on the, on the front and on the sides. Shows a big mural of all the other characters from G.I. Joe in the in my Classified Series Wave. On the side, it shows Storm Shadow's um, uh, stats, and he is number 35 in the line. And that is it for packaging. Now let's get on to the actual review. For accessories, uh, Storm Shadow comes with this extra hood um, uh, piece, which one that goes over his head. And I plan to have my figure displayed with this because it makes him look more like the Storm Shadow figure I had when I was a kid. Uh, next up, we have this little piece of um, uh, fabric. Uh, this isn't exactly an accessory, it just came separate from the figure itself, but it's supposed to be supposed to attach to his belt via ball socket, and it can rotate, and you can make it look like it's flowing in the wind. Next up is the um, uh, quiver and sword sheaths. I'm a little disappointed that the sword sheaths are permanently attached to the quiver, but eh, what can you do? Next up. Storm Shadow comes with two swords, they're nicely painted, and uh, has some snake heads sculpted on the ends of them. And looks like my swords came with a little um, uh, paint smudges of silver, but and that's not really a big deal. And they both attach to the into the sword seats. Next up is a single separate arrow from the rest in the quiver. Very cool looking. And there's a little slot inside the quiver, so you can put it inside of it and you can it almost looks like the others if they were just if the paint was a little more consistent and finally he comes with a bow for his arrow and at first I didn't think there was a place to attach it to the figure but then I realized this little peg here and voila all all the weapons can be stored onto the figure itself which is very awesome and that is it for accessories The sculpt of the figure is great, from the um, uh, fabric um, uh, details of his outfit, the details of the straps are around his legs and forearms, and his arm pieces are actually very highly detailed. They almost look um, uh, realistic, dare I say more realistic than a standard MCU Marvel Legend figure. Paint-wise, I give it a 99% good. Um... The straps of his legs and arms look like they have a bit of a dry brushing effect, and the silver of his uh, belt ar around his uh, torso is nicely applied, and the eyes, they have the face print of my tech, so obviously they're, they're going to look good, and it lo also looks like the eyes are a separate piece from the head sculpt, so you don't have to worry about um, uh, paint being smudged onto the mask, and the Cobra logo looks nicely applied, and uh, the reason I give it a 99% is just the um, uh, the left the left foot, the black sole just looks like it's a bit um, uh, fuzzy along the edge, and a few um, uh, paint splotches here on the foot and over here on his um, uh, forearm. And I feel like the white could have been painted just a little bit better, but other than that, it looks good. And that is it for sculpt and paint. For articulation, uh, Storm Shadow has two dumbbell joints in his my neck, one at the head and one where the neck connects to the body. Uh, he has butterfly joints at at his shoulders, universal my shoulders, uh, bicep swivel, double jointed my el elbows, forearm rotation, and his hands can hinge up and down and can rotate an ab crunch, a waist, a waist in my joint, 
And as stated before, he has a little ball joint for this little fabric piece. Uh, universal on my hips. The ones on mine are a little stiff. And they also have a hinge down joint. Uh, thigh rotation. Double jointed knees. Calf rotation. There's a hinge of the foot, goes down and up, and has ankle pivot. And that is it for articulation. For scale, he, here is Storm Shadow next to a standard 6 inch figure. And now here he is next to other of my G.I. Joe classified series action figures. Here he is next to Commander Cobra and Destro. And finally, here he is next to his rival, Snake Eyes. And that is it for scale and comparisons. Despite the few nitpicks I have of this figure, this is an awesome action figure for any G.I. Joe fan or if you're a fan of ninjas in general. And that is my review of the G.I. Joe Classified series Storm Shadow figure. If you like this review, please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you wish to see more content from me. And be sure to hit that bell icon to get notified for future videos. Thank you all for watching.